Hello everyone, welcome back to Pathways of Hope. My name is Chris Felix and I'm from Subang Jaya, Malaysia. Today's Gospel reading is taken from Luke chapter 2, verses 22 to 40. And today, the Church commemorates the Feast of the Presentation of the Lord, which is celebrated 40 days after Christmas. And for today's reflection, my dear brothers and sisters, let us reflect and meditate on two key points that I'd like to share with you. The first being presenting ourselves to God. You see, Joseph and Mary were faithful Jews and they brought Jesus to the temple in Jerusalem. Customary, they presented their firstborn son to the Lord and Jesus is consecrated as required by the law of Moses. As many of us know, the temple of Jerusalem is significant during the time of Jesus because it was in the temple that the God of Israel was present. As we read scriptures, as we read the gospel, Jesus will return to the temple as a, as a boy and later on as an adult. And this progression in the life of Jesus is interesting to me at least because throughout Jesus' life, we see that Jesus continues to present himself to God. And so what can you and I learn from Jesus? Well, Jesus sets the example for all of us that we too are to present ourselves to God. And we are to present ourselves to God daily, my dear brothers and sisters. Because when we present ourselves to God, we are entrusting ownership to God, that our life belongs to God. We are dedicating ourselves completely to Jesus and we're saying yes to following Him, seeking His will for our lives. And that is what this great feast is and is what we celebrate today, my dear brothers and sisters. So one exercise that we can do right now is to make a conscious decision to follow Jesus, to commit ourselves and present ourselves to the Lord. Lord, we desire to completely submit ourselves to your holy will. And let's make this a practice, a daily practice, because in doing so, we entrust ownership to God. The second being, without the Holy Spirit, we cannot recognize Jesus. There were so many people in the temple when Joseph and Mary and Jesus was there. However, it was only two people who recognized Jesus, this humble child from Bethlehem, as the fulfillment of all the messianic prophecies, hopes, and prayers. But why was Simeon and Anna only the ones truly able to recognize Jesus as the one who is to bring salvation to the world? It's because scripture reminds us that they were filled with the Holy Spirit. We know that the Holy Spirit reveals the presence of the Lord to us as we are more receptive and eager to receive Him. We need to be open to the Holy Spirit in our lives, my dear brothers and sisters. So today, let's be open to the promptings of the Holy Spirit within us. Let the Holy Spirit increase in our lives so that we can recognize Jesus in everything that we do. As God increases, we need to decrease. Amen. Let's say this prayer, my dear brothers and sisters, and just to summarize, the two key points of our medica uh, meditation today is presenting ourselves to God and allowing the Holy Spirit to fill us so that we can recognize Jesus in our daily lives. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, you are my hope and my life. May I never cease to place all my trust in you. Fill me with the joy and the strength of the Holy Spirit that I may boldly point others to your saving presence and words of eternal life. Amen. Friends, if you were blessed by this video, I'd like to invite you to like and to share this video. Once again, I'm Chris Felix. Take care, stay safe and God bless. Bye everyone.